KTV News Manchester Voice of UK on the web. Subscribe on YouTube. Welcome to KTV News Manchester. We are today here with the very special person called Zarka Ahmad sitting next to me on the right hand. Let me tell you who is she. She is a really a dynamic person in the country of United Kingdom. She lives in a very close town of Manchester's Calbury. Let me thank her from your side that she has given her time today and she is a really a very busy person. Thank you very much, Zarkaji. You came to our office this morning for our studio. We'd like to ask a few questions from you because definitely the, the community wants to know what the, what the power you have in you as a woman. You are a woman empowering, you are a community worker, you are activist, you are hiking, acting, drama, uh, I don't know what all you do. Well, first of all, Tariq Saab, I would like to thank you for inviting me to your amazing studio, you know, today. Um, and, you know, life is busy and life is short. So we need to make time for important people like yourself and especially for all of your viewers and all of your hard work. Thank you very much. Uh, the question is, uh, I would like to ask thing that you said you are here in the United Kingdom. How long you are living in this? Well, I was born in the UK. So you're the British born? I'm British born okay. and my mom's British born as well. Right. Um, my father was two year old when he came to the UK. My both grandparents, my nanka that side and dadka side, they were in the army and they both came over from Pakistan, late 40s. And they came and settled in London first and then they moved to my hometown. Right. I don't know if I should tell you my hometown or not, because all my fans <laughs> will be there. <laughs> so. Well, and you know, so the thing is that uh, you said you're born in Britain. And uh, how come you speak very good Urdu? I, I spoke to you many times in Urdu language and your Urdu is amazing, very, very good. And uh, you don't make any mistakes while the other British-born people, you know, even they are from Pakistan. What is the, what is the secret behind? Well, I do make mistakes. Everybody... Can you tell my viewers <laughs> <laughs> Well, Zarka does make mistakes. I won't be human if I didn't make mistakes, Sorry, Saab, you know. Um, actually, the whole credit goes to my family, uh, the joint family family system, the way I've grown up. Um, I've been really lucky. I've grown in the company uh, of six statues and my dad and I have my dada, my nanka side, mamus, khalas, extended families. The whole of my town is practically my family. Um, and so because our main language was English, then our language was Punjabi. Um, Urdu, I basically taught myself and I remember my mum, and you know, credits always go to mums. Um, I remember my mum always saying, right, she's gone to mosque, learned the Arabic and the Quran. Then after that, every day, we went to this wonderful teacher of ours who taught us Urdu. You know, it was really hard. She was very strict and I hated her at the time. Please, auntie, if you're listening now, please, <laughs> Mafi Mantiu, you know. Uh, but looking, you know, she did. She did amazing work. And, you know, all the time we used to go to a house, it was like a typical Pakistani style of teaching. So when mm -hmm. we used to go to a house, we used to have 10 minutes of learning, five minutes of washing the pots. <laughs> yes, we also had to go and hang her clothes outside. But it was a all part of a learning process because she spoke only in Urdu with us. Right. You know, and then she right. taught us all the Urdu writing as well. Right. But a big shock shock in I remember. Or, and I used to force myself to read, you know, the Urdu writing because Urdu is similar to Arabic. So I used to mix and match the words. I used to spend hours reading teen or thing. That was in Urdu. Fine. And uh, when you were in school, what you were uh, the, 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 your time, I will not ask you how old are you, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly <laughs> half a century old. <laughs> <laughs> in your time, and when you were in school, definitely you are not studying now. Uh, there was any classes for Urdu in special, uh, as today in school they, they are teaching special lessons are given, Urdu lessons are given. <laughs> and in your time, was there any Urdu in, in uh, subject? I think we were very lucky in my time of growing up because um, GCSEs were introduced at that time. And I remember every Saturday going to the Arts and Crafts Center and we had to learn Urdu. And from there, the GCSE Urdu came, you know. Right, and right. I remember my teacher, Mr. Ahmed, 
Mr. Ahmed, he was called, you know, amazing teacher. You know, we should always respect the people that teach us, you know, uh, and that's what we teach our children as well, to respect yes. your teachers. Teacher, yes. But that's fading out now, so not yeah. many people respect the teachers, right, you right, know. Right. But what is the reason behind it? Um, I think most of our generations are going towards more of the Western culture, the Western side, and mostly the social media. Um, there's also, you know, the young generations, they're coming away from our Asian culture. It's right, kind of right. dying. So it's mean, it's mean you, you, you mean to say that Asian culture is dying in the United Kingdom? Well, no, not dying. Um, I'd be wrong to say that. But our future generations, if you can see, there is a difference. There's a shift in pattern. There's a shift in culture. So it's not exactly the same the way I grew up or oh, the right, way you okay. grew yes, up. Yes, yes, yes. You know, yeah, yeah. like if somebody else, some elderly person comes to us, we will stand up and give them space. Now, exactly. I don't know. Now, in this time of the year, yes. I haven't got an idea. I agree with that. The respect of the early are less what was in the earlier time. Exactly. Right. Back to your question there yes. again about the Urdu classes. So we did the GCSE Urdu and I got grade A in that and then afterwards we did A level Urdu as well. So we were very lucky and grade A in that as well. <laughs> always you are tapping yourself. Oh, well, like that. Do you know, one of the secrets to life yeah. is always love yourself because yes. if you don't love yourself, nobody else will. Exactly. Think positive. Be positive. And whatever you have in your heart, you have to do it. Because life is too short. Too short. Definitely. Too short. So it means you want to spread the love and kill the hate. Well, not all the heat, you know. We need the heat in England. <laughs> no, not the heat. It's the kill the hate. I know. Oh, kill the hate. Yes, <laughs> yeah. definitely kill the hate. Yes, okay. Uh, now let me ask you the thing. How you come in uh, in, in a acting part of it? Because you're busy, you're working. And um, definitely you're a mom too. Uh, you go for hiking. I see in some of your video you're going on the mountain. And how, how often you go for hiking first place? Well, first of all, um, you know, when you have such a busy schedule in life, I believe you need to take time out for yourself. So you're right. I do work. I am a single mom. I have my family. I do my acting. I do my walking. But I always put myself first. I put everybody else first in all my life. Now it's time for me. You know, my daughter's growing up as well. So the, every Sunday I go walking, I go hiking. It helps me um, health wise, wealth wise, you know, not wealth financially, but wealth, you know. Yeah, when you're healthy, you can make more. Yes. yes. Yeah. And yes. so, you know, it's all good, brilliant for your stress, for your work pressure. And I always feel happy and light. And, you know, whenever I go to work on Monday mornings, I know most people say, oh, damn, we've got to go to work. I wake up in the morning and I say, Yes, because I love my work. Oh my God. For in, in that case, Monday is the worst day for me when I get up in the morning. Oh my God. It's again Monday after this. <laughs> Not for me. You know, at work, they say, Zerka, what's the secret? And yeah. I always say, giving time to myself, and especially these walkings and hikings. And, you know, um, I must say thank you very much to the Camp Cramblers group. That's who I um, you're, do you're the, going with them. Yes, every okay. Sunday. And it's encouraging all the BAME communities, especially women as well, to come forward forward and have a healthy lifestyle right. um, but I can't tell you how I came across the Kramlers I did a charity walk uh, with Asif Khan from um, the PTI Asif Khan you know from Bradford oh, so you are with the political people too with the Pakistani oh, I'm multi-talented you know um, but right. I'm also in politics within the town that I work in and especially one of my roles is right, I'm one right, of the main right, chairs I'm right. one of the leaders there right, right. Um, but going back to who I did the first charity walk with that's what inspired me to keep on walking and stay healthy I realized um, walk is hard it's challenging but you know, where there's a will, there's there always a, a way. Exactly. Definitely. When there is a will, there is a way. Yes. Acting point of view. What made you to come to the acting? Now I've seen you are doing some commercials, you are doing some dramas, you are been so many films. I know you've been uh, uh, joining some Indian films and Pakistani dramas and did some uh, clips, vlogs. Uh, I don't know what watch you have. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, going back to my childhood, I used to absolutely love drama. You know, my drama classes. But when you grow up in a huge family system, um, and especially about culture and status and about family respect 
and not breaking that respect, I was, wasn't allowed to take drama at school, you know, so I was discouraged to take it by my family. Um, and I had to take home economic classes instead, cooking classes, but I'm some of this cook anyway. But um, it's just years later, I'd say one of my cousins, he's an actor. And I used to be his taxi driver and drive him to the film locations. And we used to do rehearsals. Right, right. And sometimes, you know, there's a saying, they're saying, you're at the right time, at the right, the place. right place. Well, yes. that's how I got recognised. Whilst we were supporting each other, learning Good. lines, um, Sanjay Lila Bansali Sab, you know, I came in there limelight okay um good. and that's how i was offered my very first film okay and um the phone call came to my cousin um excuse me who was that lady helping you you know that day right and he said oh she doesn't know acting she can't do it he said no no <laughs> just you know you let her know that we're offering her a role oh, and so i got a phone call and i was jumping up and down with joy i was at work oh. and um so the script was sent to me there and then I started to learn my script because I had to film the next day in London. All right. So it just happened, happened so fast. It happened so fast. And so you're lucky enough to get this uh, brilliant chances in your life. Uh, how many hours do you sleep? I do know. <laughs> I always believe eight hours work, eight hours sleep, eight hours family. So it's a balanced lifestyle I have. And, you know, you need your sleep. You need your beauty sleep, you know. But... You know, whilst you sleep, your brain re-energizes mm -hmm. and all your organs re-energize. So it's the best way. Well, make, that's the nature because sleep. when you sleep, your body gets repaired. Yes. yes. Uh, viewers, we are talking to Zarka Hamad. You heard her. Really, she is a dynamic person. And uh, I don't know what to ask more. She has spoken everything and you want to know. <laughs> Not everything yet. There's <laughs> lots yet. <laughs> There's still a lot to be told. Uh, next time. Whenever we have time to call her again here. We wish you best of luck for your uh, coming uh, acting, drama, work, whatever you are doing, charity work. Uh, keep it up. I think our viewer will be appreciating your all the talk you have done. Next time, whenever you coming to this side, drop in. We'll have another chat with you. Thank you very much, Zarka ji. Talking to you. It was nice to have you here. See you sometime, mother. Bye-bye from me. Any message you have from your side, to my viewers. I will say definitely where there's an, an opportunity in life, doesn't matter how far in life it is, grab it with both hands and don't let it go. And that's what I did with my acting. That's what I've done with my career. That's what I've done with my family, you know, and I follow my dreams. It's never too late. Follow your dreams. Don't give up. Grab the chance comes in your life. Once in a while, you will be getting the chance. Sure, keep it up to yourself. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye. Keep watching KTV. <laughs> KTV News Manchester, Voice of UK, one